Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a collab with Instagram's Nails by Jamie 2. I've got DS Classic out on my table today and DS Lapses. Lapis. Lapis. And I started off with Peel Ease. So I'm going to go in with my first coat of this insanely gorgeous blue. This is another one of those polished from their designer series from way back in the day. And I'm telling you, this is just gorgeous. Now, it dries down matte, but with a glossy top coat, it's just insane pretty. So there we go. And I'm going to use the other color on my other nails. That's the only one I'm painting all blue, I think. I am going to use the blue here in just a little bit, you'll see. And look at this. Is this not just gorgeous? I love, love this polish. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful canvas. And to me, this looked like sand. Sparkly, hollow, beautiful sand. <laughs> See what kind of beach I'm sitting on, right? So, got to break Witty out. You know, it's my thing. I'm a little messy and I tend to clean up as I go along. Another gorgeous coat of this. It's one of my favorite, more neutral kind of colors. Cleaning up somewhere. But I was really excited to do a, you know, um, a beach theme kind of Manny. Um, I don't know that I've ever really done straight up a beach theme Manny. I've done kind of nautical Manny's and maybe ocean manis, but I don't know that I've ever just straight up done kind of like beat where the ocean meets the beach. So this is kind of fun. You can see that dried down matte on that blue nail lapis. And I'm going to go in for a second coat. Of course, I probably could have totally gotten away with just one. But you know, the silly girl almost always does at least two. Look how pretty. Oh, just love, love it. So I'm just showing you putting the second coat on my pinky, but I do end up putting it on the other two fingers as well. Let's see what had happened was, as I was planning on doing a gradient on those two nails, but <clears throat> it didn't work out so good. So I decided to go in with my little detail brush and just kind of make like the waves lapping up on the beach. I know you guys don't get to see me do this freehand kind of thing very often, and there's a reason. It's because I'm not really that good at it. But I figured for this one it would be just fine. So we got some water from the ocean just piling up on the beach, you know, just washing up and just, you know, I just thought it would work, work for this. So there we go. I'm going to be using this Wistonia plate, absolutely nautical, and Beach Fun, also by Wistonia. My Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and Beauty Big Bang Scraper. This is that Crayola Cerulean and the MDU Chocolate. I'm going to use those to stamp with today. I decided to go ahead and use this Wave Image. I thought that would look pretty cool. I don't know if I put it upside down or not. I, I guess it's all okay. And then I'm going to use this little shell. And it's actually going to look very big. But, you know, it can be my perspective of the beach. You know, just looking down and seeing this giant, beautiful shell. <laughs> so there we go. <clears throat> and then some more waves. Getting a little carried away, getting the whole design. I don't know what I was thinking. So now I gotta go in and pull some of this off. <laughs> Being very tricky getting some of that there off. And then I'm gonna line it up and put it, try to put it just on the blue part. Tapping that down. I'm going to do this again, except this time I'm not going to do the whole image. I'm going to save myself a little bit of trouble. You know, some of that live and learn. There we go. Get that 
turned around. There we go. BM608 is this other plate I pulled out and decided to go ahead and use. And these are those little footprints. I figured they would look really cute on the sand, but they don't really show up all that great, especially on camera. And even in my swatch photos, they don't show up just wonderful. But in real life, I could see them until they were little footprints. So we just went ahead and rolled with it. I'm cleaning up this excess around my fingernail with some of this masking tape. And there we go. Just gonna mush some of it down. And now for some tidying up with some acetone and my cleanup brush. And I'm, you know, checking it out while I'm cleaning it up, and I think, hmm, me need some more. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this um, pail and shovel. You know, I always see pails and shovels on the beach when I go. So I figured I would do them also. I could have done them in another color, but I thought I would just kind of keep it more uniform. And then this beautiful image is going to go on my thumb. Love it so much. Big old, big old beautiful image. Cover that whole nail up. My starfish. And there we go. And letting a lot of that hollow peek out. I'm going to be using the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat to kind of seal all that stamping in without smearing it. stuff just works really good. There we go. I need a little bit more on the brush, being a little stingy. But it doesn't take a lot. You know, you just want to seal that top, you know, that top layer of the stamping. You know, you want to just seal that in so that you can carry on with your regular top coat. There we go. Would it get in a workout today? thumb with that pretty starfish. I love how that hollow just, you know, ugh, just jumps out of there. This one was a lot of fun to wear. I really enjoyed it. And now that I've got that done, I'm going to top this off with some posh top coat and completely seal that design in, capping my tips and all. There we go. I just love how when you put that glossy top coat on, how everything just kind of comes alive. That blue sparkling in the back is just gorgeous. And I would like to thank Jamie for inviting me to do this collab with her. I was really excited to um, get together with her. In fact, I don't know, I might have invited her. I think I invited her to do a collab, and she's the one that came up with this awesome theme. So, you know, we chat back and forth. So, I will have um, her uh, Instagram handle down below. I would love for you to go check her out. Um, I'm not 100% sure if she's going to do a movie on YouTube, but if she does, I'll list that down below also. Okay, I'll seal that thumb in, smooth it all out. I love, love this. Uh. But I would love to hear what you think of it. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my beach theme manicure. And don't forget to check out Jamie. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.